All right, campers, this is Andrew with Trekker Trailers. Just want to show you uh, something we just finished for a young couple here in Florida. Um, they wanted just a basic shell of a tiny house that uh, they could finish off themselves. So what we did is the exterior, we did the, the door, we did the windows, the spray foam insulation, the wiring, and the plumbing. Um, the rest of it, they're confident enough to finish off themselves, save a little money, and get a, have the uh, sense of accomplishment of doing some of the work themselves. Really a good idea and cost effective too. So let's take a look at what we got here. It is just a basic um, shed style roof. This, this is the most efficient uh, cost wise, strength wise, and price wise style to do with that. Just a basic slant roof instead of a peak. Uh, we did do a little bump out on the front. Um, they wanted a place to put a washer dryer unit. So we were gonna stick it outside on the tongue and I thought, well, I'll just do a little bump out from the inside. So they don't have to go outside to do the laundry but this is all just painted white they're going to do the accent colors and such themselves nice big picture window there in the living room or main room i guess there's our uh air conditioning unit 8000 btu there's our 30 amp service uh it's actually a 100 amp box and uh you know regular household breakers and such but we use the 30 amp service for it so you can use it at RV parks and such. Typical um, popular hookup. Um, just one window on the back side here. You can see our galvanized industrial roof up there. That's going to work out really good. Uh, let me take you to the inside now. Walk back around. And. Here we go, in the door. You see as you walk in, you'll be looking straight across at the kitchen. That'll be the kitchen there, the sink in the middle of the uh, window, outlets on both sides, little light above. We got a little pendant light they're gonna do. Um, we walk in and uh, go to the right. Behind the door here we have our bathroom. So we just framed it out and put the uh, shower pan in. They're gonna put the door and finish the walls and such. Um, it's a 36 inch residential shower pan, so easy to get, easy to do. You can buy surroundings for it easy enough. Here's the little bump out I told you about here. You can see it from outside, but this just goes out and they got a little washer dryer unit that's going there. And so we put the hookups for it here, um, an outlet. Did a little wall faucet here to come out because they have a little tiny sink we're gonna put here. It doesn't even have a place for a faucet on it. So we did one built into the wall. We used a shower supply to do it. So the knobs will be actually in the wall and then the little spout coming out to the sink. Kind of cool. And here's your switch for the light in the bathroom here. The uh, compost and toilet was going to go right there. Um, it can be plumbed for a regular house toilet if they decide to in the future. Here's your shower again. Um, back up here you can kind of get a good look at the uh, rest of the place. I'm actually in the little cubby where the washer dryer goes. Um, get kind of a scan view here. The rest of the house. Here's your front door. Window above the uh, toilet area. Almost a necessity. Nice big window on the front here. What they're planning on doing is doing like a little bar top here. And then you can do stools and then rest your feet up on the fender well. And also you can do the homework there or whatever. It's nice. They're uh, college students. Um, they're going to do something really cool here with the loft. Normally your loft would be up higher, you could walk underneath it. They're actually going to do the loft only at about five feet high. And that way um, it's not so high to get in and they've got more room up top. And that way they're going to put their little love seat couch or whatever on this end underneath the loft. Because they don't really need to be able to stand up while they're watching TV. And then across from it they're going to do their big flat screen TV on the wall there. So I think it's a good idea. It saved them a lot of money and gives them dual purpose of that space. Above the uh, head of the bed. They have a little slider window. It'll be up at the head there. Um, wall sconce light uh, fixtures will be there. Three-way switch for at the head and at the foot of the bed where you get on by their uh, little steps. We also did three-way switch there for the main light. The other switch being at the door. So convenient. We've actually got about 325 feet of wiring in this 20-foot house. So we've actually gone way overkill with the wiring to accommodate things that they have need for like above the bed directly above their head they're going to do a tv built onto the ceiling 
So I did a little recessed cubby there for they can run their electrical for the TV and run the cable and whatnot to it. So it's pretty cool. Um, oh yeah, one more thing. We did some floor storage. We've been doing these floor storages on all of them. They're, they're just so handy. Just adds so much space. I mean, that's, that's about nine inches deep and about four feet across. And we did two of them. And they're all insulated. The whole, you can see the spray foam everywhere. The spray foam is also underneath the whole chassis. And even those boxes are insulated with the spray foam. So, anyway, thought you guys would enjoy seeing this. This one will be going out pretty soon. We're just finishing it up today. Camp happy, and talk to you guys soon.